Organizers have a great show planned this weekend, but there are safety guidelines in place. The first thing you'll see when you walk in the North Wing lobby is a sign asking you to mask up. Normally we have about 300 exhibitors, but this year we actually made the show smaller. We used big space, limited the number of booths that are in here. About 80 trade professionals have set up booths throughout the East Hall at Kentucky Expo Center for the home garden and remodeling show. From people who do bathrooms to people who do HVAC, so it's not going to be all the same thing. Less exhibitors and more room. Juva Barber with the Building Industry Association of Greater Louisville says the aisles are 20 feet wide to allow for social distancing plus masks and sanitizer is on hand. We wanted to make sure that you could come in, talk to the person you needed to, and then have enough space to feel safe while you're here with us. Despite the changes, Barbara promises a great event for those looking to remodel or take on home improvement projects, which she has seen a huge increase in the past year. Taking on a home improvement project is often harder than you think. We all watch HGTV, right? And we think all you have to do is demo a wall and put it back. But it's much more complicated. DJ Carroll says even power washing is not as simple as people might think. He says doing it the wrong way could damage your home. If you use high pressure and blast it underneath your siding and your soffits and the fascia, then that's going to actually push that mold mildew and algae in between your walls. And then you're not going to see it until it starts coming through the drywall. Demonstrations and the kids zone were nixed for this year's event. But Barber says there are plenty of resources available to help your next home project go as smooth as possible. We want to make sure that when you get your home improved, you don't walk away with more of a problem than you had in the first place. Alex Durham, WLKY 